Hey everyone, Meosity here, welcome back. Today, we're gonna be going into the cove. Maybe we're gonna find the Harbinger, maybe not. I'm actually kind of hoping for it, I don't actually think I've ever fought it, so it'd be kind of nice to see. The main goal is to level up the cove and to level up some heroes that I don't have at level three or higher. So that being said, we are going to take the Examinate, which I honestly don't remember why I haven't played with too much. I know I've taken them into like one or two really early on and I never played with them more than that. The Land Dweller, I know I actually really like, so I don't know why I don't have more at higher level. The Wraith, I know I really, really like. So once again, I don't know why I don't have one at a higher level. And the sisters, I know I absolutely love. Same with the Wraith. So I guess I just haven't been using them in favor of some stuff I haven't been using or other classes. So the goal here is actually three, fourfold. It's kind of odd and hopefully I'm not putting my eggs in too many baskets here. Uh, as you can see, the Examinant actually can Blight and does extra stuff versus Marked. So that's kind of the goal here is one, we're Blighting. Because so does the Land Dweller, so does the Sister. But we also can do Extra versus Marked, which the Sister can mark, the Examinant can technically mark, especially with the drink that I have on him. The Wraith technically could mark if I put Death Sentence on him. I'm not going to be doing that. Then, the Wraith can stun if I need him to. The Wraith does Bleeding, and he can does Extra versus Marked. The Sister can do bleeding damage as well, which I know isn't the biggest thing in the cove, but she also does extra damage versus blighted, so it, it's kind of a whole song and dance with this group of I'm going to be blighting a lot, I'm going to be marking a bit, which the whole I do extra versus marked, then I'm going to be bleeding, and then once everything's blighted enough, if I need to, I can transform her into extra damage versus blighted. So hopefully it turns out, especially if I'm fighting the Harbinger. We'll see if it's actually a cohesive plan, though. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. Explore 90% of rooms. It's a medium. Buy me some food. I know that's a lot, but I've been finding myself um, either really needing to heal with it lately and not wanting to, or something else and I know I can find some food in here but we'll see what happens and I'm gonna bring some medicinal herbs here just because of the curios I know I can get blood in here I know there's some curios that I can use holy water on and then there's some skeleton key stuff so oh I actually got his art beware the harbinger harbinger reconstructs heralds to aid in battle and it and it polishes them. That's odd. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens here. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. Where, where am I? There we are. All right, so if I have to explore 90% of rooms, I think I'm going to go up. Oh, this is a kind of weird layout. No matter how I go about it, it feels off to me. Okay, so I am going to go to this lower right one, double back, go up, and then go to final stretch there. Okay. If only treasure could staunch the flow of And that will also hit corruption. every hallway. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. All right, so I know I have to get the Thrall down, but let's see how this works. Also, the Examinant has some damage reflection. It'll be fun. So that marks him. I do extra damage to him now. A time to perform beyond Acid Rain. They should be bladed. Eight and three. Oh, wow, that is a lot more. Um, I'm just going to AoE Blight now. So he has 10. He goes down on next. I'm not going to worry about him. Then...
I'm gonna do this because it puts a bleed on the Guardian. Who then I'm going to mark so I can do more too. Inspiration and improvement. Then Conscious that should take him out as the enemy crumbles. Valid below 50% HP. We are below 50% HP. Let's go plus damage on our Wraith. Also giving him an Aegis is nice. So if I guillotine, he's now marked. And this is plus bleed amount versus marked. So this should be 10 bleed on him if we bleed him. A singular strike. So 17 bleed, he goes down just from that. 23 damage over time. Great just leaving our shaman friend. It's a little bit of thinking. However, if you can get it done right, it works. And then just for the stress. And then Crimson Dance. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Take the stuff. Success so clearly in full party order. Or is it merely a trick of the lane? Use the key. Wealth beyond measure. Yay, heirlooms. Brave and lovely, glory. lovely heirlooms. I'm going to leave that just in case I need it. It's again, leaving him. Although I definitely will be fighting them. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. I think I can dump the blood if I need it. Is this a whole bunch of nothing? That was a whole bunch of nothing, but that was three rooms? So, I mean, that counts towards exploration, if nothing else, and I find it, um... Oh, is it anti-venom I need to pour into that? Shoot. I thought wrong. So if I find the Harbringer sooner than later, and that'll count as completion. And I didn't want to interact with that because I'm pretty sure there's a small chance it can give diseases and I don't want to deal with that. I say as I get comes in curse. Really gonna have to deal with that soon. Right, there's four on him. Then we're gonna guillotine because we can. That should take out our messenger so he doesn't summon more. Gonna dissolving liquid on the supplicant. Gather the blood. The slow death. Unforeseen. Five and four. We're gonna mourn more, so he's marked. And every time he's attacked, he gets healed for a tad. So he's going to heal for everything he just got hit for, except for that bleed. And let's hook and slice. We're going to weed out. At least it'll mark. That'll up. Oh no, never mind. Didn't hit. Slowly, gently. This is how. And if we bonk you, you go down on next unless you heal, which you do. Blow to body and brain. Yes. 
thirst from the person who can't <laughs> get the Crimson Curse anymore. Uh, hook and slice. That'll take you out. Then let's possession so you don't get even more stress. Then do, do, do trespass. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Bonk. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Pick what I can. These Dump the blood. Can be felt. They can Dump the invitation. And I can't use Blossom there, which is problematic. I can't use Guillotine or Hook and Slice where I want to. So, realistically, I do not have a healer right now. <laughs> I hope that doesn't come but to bite me in the ass. Because... I don't have a healer. I guess I do technically have the Examinant. Alright, 110% chance to stun. We're gonna do that. Mark you, blight you. Acid rain. It's four and three. It's really not the greatest idea for you there, buddy. Poison breath. Ow. I doubt I'm going to get that stun off again. However, what I can do, since he has four, he's going to go down. Three and six, he is not. So we're going to get the gunner. Give them no quarter. Uh, then we're going to possession, just because stress stuff. And then... Let's Crimson Dance to get him bleeding. And power. Now, he should go down. Then if we punish you... He should have probably healed there, but that's fine. Damage reflection in your face. Death yeah, poor health. But I'm gonna use that to recover. So we're post. Possession. Blossom. Get that stress down, please. I guess it really doesn't get the stress down, but nonetheless, it is that heal I wanted, and then Lash's gift. Guess that stresses her out, not do what I want. Anywho. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. They can eat. We're running through that food. I've only gotten through one leg and had two hunger checks. And this is the other thing I wanted. So, Egomania, weak grip on life, self-sufficient. How oh, self-sufficient bad? Not available for modded heroes. And she is a modded hero, so that could be bad. Black hunger needs to go away. I know that's plus damage and crit, but... Black hunger needs to go away. That's just Kyrio, we don't need to deal with it. Now that I know that's there. Just gonna bleat or blight that one out and not have to deal with it. The 
figured the discordant was happening. Even the aged oak will fall to the tempest's winds. Yep. That is fine. Poison breath. Acid rain. At least the sea maggot's gonna go down. Cause the blight on it. Uh, if I... Actually, wow. They changed that a little bit. I didn't notice that with the Wraith rework. Hook and Slice is now slightly worse to use than guillotine on the same targets guillotine now does more base damage and more bleed i believe now don't quote me on this because i'm my memory is horrible and i'm not looking at them side by side like the old versus the new but i do believe that guillotine and hook and slice on the old wraith did the same amount of bleed. So if I was going up against something that had um, a lot of protection at least, I'm and I just wanted the bleed on it, they were basically the same, which is how I used the Wraith sometimes. Abundance set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Okay. Now he's going to go down. Self heal 25% max HP. There we go. Line strike. Eradicated. And this goes down. Another one falls. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Default party order now that it's letting me. Uh I do not see any obstacles so i feel safe doing this i'm gonna get rid of the torches for the ring of the snake which i might actually want to hang on to just to uh have it and have it stop appearing i'm going to camp huddled together for the stress and vulnerable rats and now the thing about this is, because of black hunger, I'm only going to eat until full. Drifter might be really good here for the scouting. Let's do mirror for the stress. Then we're going to do black and psyche. And do sticky embrace so she gets some minus stress. I'm going to do pain box. That's the buff. Blight duration. In Radiance, may we find victory. Ooh, death. Memento Mori. Is that a mark? That is seven stress for three rounds. Returns even the boldest gaze. We're at like two for two on this guy. And the damage reflection took out the Aegis. 10 crit versus bleeding, 30% protection. All right, so we can possibly stun it we can definitely blade it bleeding might be a bit harder so what the plan is so i'm gonna try to stun death we stunned death really like the design here then blight minus protection plus blight resistance decisive bubbling there we go uh weed out let's mark it or it's blighted for eight around for five rounds acid rain plus blight amount versus marked so we're gonna have fun with this nope shadow of death 
think you missed. So since it's marked, we're gonna guillotine. Accuracy plus bleed amount versus marked. Accuracy versus stunned. Always crit versus stunned, it is not stunned. And bleed, eight blight. And purpose. Okay, can't slime strike yet, so we're gonna continue with this. 13 blight. 23 damage around. Two damage reflect. Hey, I, you're not going discord. And thing I was gonna do, I can't do anymore. He is marked. I think I can still do this. Trespass. The blood quickens. Well, just for the gigglies. Let's do Lash's Gift, just because low health. And bye bye death. The greater the glory. Seal of the Scourge, examine it only. Yeah. 15% HP, minus damage taken from Blight and Bleed, friendly skill, steal Bleed, and still steal Blight. Oh. That could be good. We'll take it all. I think I still want the damage reflection on him for here. Okay, who's good at traps? Wraith is good at traps. Also, notice how much stress went down there. Wow. Uh, I can spare another shovel. Sure, I can spare another shovel. Why wouldn't that be a bad idea, I say, before I scout anything? Gonna bypass that for now. And that for now. Alright. Poison breath. A powerful blow. Figured that would happen. Uh, two, 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 two has five. Let's stun him. Punish does more blight, so that'll probably take this shielded urchin out. Nope. Still goes down on next. Guillotine to take out that one. Executed. And take out the stinger. Perched at the very precipice of a Use a bandage there. Slime strike. And that's that. Use some of the food we just got. So too will resistance. And turn around. They can eat. Got one hunger check left. Let's mess with these guys. Just for the heirlooms that they might give us. I know I want to get the messenger first. And we have a plan for that. I had a plan for that. We 
Outpost. Let's punish. Getting that blight off? No, really? Wow. And that's that. Alright, well, I think he's getting away. Unless the Wraith goes, like, next. Chain Gang. Hopefully that stuns alright. Light, please. Thank you. Move her forward. Oh, that's what self-sufficient does. We need to get rid of that. Weed out. And bonk. Leave he goes down. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Would you stop that? Slime strike. The end token slice. That's a win. Now I can take care of the sister. Leave that. Brought low and driven into the mud. So the problem is, unless I want to relegate the land dweller to only healing herself and repost and sticky mucus which actually doesn't do damage the i need the sister back there For some reason, I was thinking Bramble worked in row four, and it does not. But I'm going to make this work. We only have a few more rooms to go. There's two fights here. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but you okay. Glint of gold. Let's see here. Has a repost, 20% protection, won't be blading it, and I won't be stunning it. I can blight it. I might actually bleed it. That being said, let's see how bad this is. The ground quakes. Well, I have 60 health. Let's do more and more to get the heal in the mark there. A uh, blight amount received. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Aha. Weed out because that doesn't count as an attack. Also blights it. Festering fear consumes the mind. I can still get that one. Um, yeah, guillotine. Knowing uncertainty, the birthplace of dread. 
more blight amount versus March. So that'd be four for three versus four versus three. This still does more. Such a terrible assault. So eight around. Crystal polish. Gets rid of that. Lovely. Weed out because blight. More dust. Eh. More ashes. It happens. More disappointment. Okay. And go for the repost. And why not go for the throat, buddy? Re the victory, perhaps the turning point. Now, that being said, I got to make some decisions here. Ninety percent of rooms. I can probably finish it with that next room up there. I don't want to mark her, so we're just going to poison breath. Get as many blights out as we can. I really wish the examinant would be going right now. On the brink, facing the abyss. Uh, d -d 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 yeah, we're gonna bleed him. Then more and more. Now he's marked. Most of them should be going at him. I thought. More blood soaks the soil, feeding the evil therein. I thought. This is fine. This is fine. Self-preservation is paramount at any cost. Well, take one out. Flight them. Proposed, one down. Heals up. And now the true test. Hold fast. All right. Fire. Two left. I think that's a heal. I mean, that's what I was going to do anyway. Heal him up. Too bad the repost is gone. And reap, I suppose. Take what I can. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Uh oh. Oh well.
All right. I think that's going to stun. Yep. More and more. Get her post going. I'll heal back for that at least, other than the bleed. should heal for more than I'm going to bleed. I believe Toxic is actually a decent thing here. That pass was not good, though. And that's what I was going to do anyway, sir. resistance that's fine I think I can stun two people so let's do that actually no by guillotine I can probably take him out which less stuff coming at us is a good thing then we're gonna acid rain trying to blight the stinger That bleed is not a good thing here. I'm probably going to lose the wraith. More and more. Lovely. Stinger goes down on next. Got some healing going. Two and four, so hopefully that keeps us alive. Lash's gift. That's when I want it down. Singer goes down, just Guardian left. Come on, we got this. Three damage left. Reflect. This expedition at least promises success. Oh. That was not the end. No scouting. Well, I think I can safely say they are going to leave. Um, <laughs> had it not been for the, well, honestly, death, I came out almost further ahead. But had it not been for the Crystalline Harbringer, I probably would have gotten through that. Um, I think I accidentally threw away at least one of the trinkets from the Land Dweller, but that's fine. So, eh, we got stuff. I'm happy. Failure tests the metal of heart, brain, and body. Honestly, that was my fault because I thought the sister was going to be able to heal for some reason in row four, which she could not. So that was a huge blunder on my part. Deadly to crit. <laughs> How does he get germaphobe? How does the examinant who excels at blight damage get germaphobe? And then sleepwalker on Faintree. In time, 
You will know the tragic extent of my failings. He is antsy. I need to get rid of that. Hey, Fernival, buddy. You've kind of... Not Fernival. You, you can go there. You're fine. don't oh I do have blueprints to use I probably should upgrade the estate a little more I really like my marking parties so I think I want to get the red seal ship because those upgrade how much was it just damage or was it damage and crit or something like that it was a huge bonus to um everything crit basically so I can essentially take these and rip apart what I want for like one to two turns. I'm not sure if it's per character or entire team, but the seals are great. So I'm going to do that for whenever I want to take a marking team. So that's going to be one of my blueprints. And that's most of my Sunward Isle stuff. Honestly, the hall changes are pretty good. However, that being said, they're kind of expensive for what they are, it seems right now, except for maybe the Kraken Society one. And especially if I'm going to be leveling people up uh, for now, I want to get that because of Virtue Chance and Resolve Experience. It's like bring a librarian along, kind of. So let's grab that. And then the other one I really want to get right now is the Greenhouse Harvest 1 to 2 Nightmare Flower Bouquets Weekly chance to also harvest dead or charred flower bouquets. So the nightmare flower bouquets are just, um, if I remember right, it's just minus five stress from the pet cemetery. I'm not sure what the dead flower bouquets are, but then the charred flower bouquets and even just having a chance to get one or two of those a week is really good because it's for like two battles, I take less damage from bloodsuckers and from nightmares. So it's really good in the Crimson Courtyard. It's good if next time I go up against the Kraken, if I have to go up against him again. Good against any of the modded stuff that I have coming up against the Crimson Courtyard, because I have the Crimson Courtyard Plus, and anything in the Pet Cemetery. So let's do that so I have a stock of that for when I go up against them again. Because while I'm leveling up everything else, that's going to be a thing. And, ooh, I didn't notice this. Weakened potions of Vermintide potions will affect every hero in the party. And this doesn't take a blueprint, so we'll get those. And I might start looking at getting, um, like, the Skaven Supply Depot and stuff like that so I can carry more heirlooms and stuff like that without having to mod my thing further because there are times where I'm actually grabbing more than what my mod lets me for the heirlooms or the uh, gems. So having those would be great, especially the Skaven one since it doesn't require a blueprint. There's a few other ones over here that do the same exact thing, or is it just these for the quest? No, there is one over here, but it requires stuff from, um, I think that's fighting the thing from the stars or the endless harvest so that might be a thing in the future and that's not as big the reason i originally had wanted to get these characters is i wanted the thing to no longer have hunger checks <laughs> so i was kind of putting together a party but i wasn't sure what i wanted so that's kind of a thing i was half tempted to either bring the lamia but then i wasn't sure who else the Commandant actually would be a really good choice because of the plus damage, and he can do a few other things. So I might grab him. And seeing what the Gourmet could do, he's a choice. Even the fiercest beast will lay down when it is not eaten. Let us hope he enjoyed his last meal. So that's kind of where I'm at now, and then we'll continue going at these again in the future. Uh, just kind of going about leveling things up and all that jazz. So I think I kind of figured out what was up with the farmstead, kind of like with the Crimson Courtyard here. 
it just isn't showing the level so i just have to keep at it and um just keep doing the shorts and stuff or the quests when they're available and we'll just pick up from there next time honestly i might go into there and see what happens and then maybe just do one or two of them next time unless there's a better trinket about but yeah we'll we'll go and just continue leveling this stuff up so that's the plan for next time uh just using more fun heroes things like that i'll see what kind of a team i can cook up and we'll pick up from there so as always i wish you all well i will see you next time and please have a good one